Hello, everyone. We're at Ohio Stadium in Columbus, Ohio. It's week number six action. Jake Sorensen along with color commentator extraordinaire Jim Pepper. Ohio State is the home team. What can we expect from them today, Jim? I'm expecting the secondary to come out and establish themselves here early. These guys should have no trouble containing the pass, which will force their opposition to pound it out via the run. Eastern Michigan is their opponent today. How do they stack up? Jake, we're going to see this team try and move the ball on the ground quite often. They will only go to the air on 20 to 30 percent of their overall offensive plays. They prefer a smash mouth, in your face type of game. Thanks for the insightful analysis, Jim. We're ready for the coin toss, so let's head down to the field. Number 85 tees it up, and we are set for the opening kickoff. Gets his foot into it, and this is a nice kickoff. Number one fields it deep. Number 13 makes the tackle on the return. They've got the ball. Let's see if they can take care of business. First and 10. Number 34 the ball. Number 37 takes him down after a medium game. That was designed to go through the two gap, but he took it elsewhere. He did pick up yards, however, thanks to some fancy feet and a little luck. It's now second and six. Number 34 will set this play out. Nice ball. Moves wide right. Big gainer on the pretty run to the outside for the first down. First down. On the 40. Yeah. Number six lines up behind the quarterback. Yeah. Eight of five. Good call on the inside run, Jake. Boy, well, they've been opening up the deep with a lot of outside runs, and that left a little room to drive it right inside. Ball at the 46 yard line. Number eight lines up under center. He's pressured. Number eight is flushed out. Number 93 gets through for the sack. Nice play. It's third and 11. The Eagles line up with a tight end right. Drops way back. Throws middle. He's tackled, but he's past the sticks for the first down. Big third and long conversion. First and 10. Number 81 will set this play out. He's pressured. Throws. Incomplete. Number eight thought he could hit his man with only one defender, but that secondary had him locked up tighter than my mother-in-law's pocketbook. Second and 10. The Eagles have one man back. Number six with the carry. That'll bring up third down. Not a lot there, maybe three yards. Let's see what they can do coming up. It's now third and six. It's a block. Snakes out of the backfield. Bring up fourth and short. The runner got a few there, but the D pulled it together and stopped him short to force the fourth down. Good perseverance. They're going for it on fourth and one. Number six is the low back. Six gets it again. Yes, they get the first down to keep the drive alive. Gutsy performance on fourth. Number six got the nod on fourth down, and he crosses those magic markers in the first and keeps on going for a whole lot more. Jim, they made the call and got the first. What do you think of that? Play? Well, with the score how it is, I would shy away from it, but it worked out. That's one heck of a throw of the dice. The Eagles have a first down after the big fourth down conversion. Number six is lined up behind the quarterback. The 20, he's taken down. 
down, but gets the first down by a couple of chain links. The Eagles continue to move the ball downfield. That's their fourth first down on this drive. It's the end of the first quarter, and it's still a scoreless game. The Eagles racked up their fourth first down of this drive. They're moving the ball well. Number six is off the left tackle. Number 11 with the stop after several on the play. Ball on the 15. Number 34 lines up behind the quarterback. Number 25 gets the tackle. Credit him with number three for the game. Oh, my. Nice play by the defense. They picked the runner up quickly and stopped him in his tracks. Third and four is in the tackle. And about a foot coming up. Took the handoff and went right up center. And he picked up a couple. The thing is, he needed a couple more to get the first. They're going for it on fourth and inches. Made a drive-stopping tackle there, forcing the turnover on downs. Great job, and his offense heads on the field. Ball at the 14-yard line. Lateral. Number 35 with the tackle. Nice job to take this one out to the outside. It's second and two. Number 30 is lined up behind the quarterback. Straight ahead for about three and the first. Picked up a few yards he needed for the first down. First and ten. Of two. Good job coming off the blocks by the defense. Well, they came through and stopped that run in its tracks. Ball on the 24. The Buckeyes are in the shotgun. Number 16 on the gun tosses it. Bring up third down. I like that call. Really close the gap to the first down. Let's see what they do coming up. It's third and five. Number 16 steps back, fifth tight, spirals at middle. Number 88 was the intended receiver on that play, incomplete. Number 88 saw that one come way in front of him. Hey, if he knew it was coming, the receiver yeah. might have been able to sprint forward and snag it. Yeah, but he was totally caught by surprise. You know, they need to get on the same page. Number 18 takes position for his first punt of the game. It's away. Number 10 has it. Number 37 makes the stop on the return. If they can score on this drive before the half, it could put them in the lead, which is a big boost going into halftime. Ball at the 42-yard line. He's pressured. Drops way back. Number 93 drops him several yards back. Nice tackle. It's second and 19. He's pressured. Nice block. He's dropping back. Rose right. He's tackled, and that's his second catch of the day. Ball on the 44. Well, the time winding down, if they can just get a bit closer, they'd be in feasible field goal range before the half. Number eight will put it up again. Tip. The pass is no good. Incomplete. Number eight threw what we used to call an Alice there. Boy, needs to put a little more oomph behind it. Ooh, that's pretty cold, Jim. You're not going to be his favorite announcer when he hears that comment. Hey, 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 nothing personal. I like to consider it motivational announcer. Three seconds left. He's pressured. Sits in the pocket. Throws. The pass is incomplete. It's the end of the first half, and it's still a scoreless game. Number 27 is ready for the second half kickoff. Got his leg behind this one. Number two fields it in the end zone. 
And number nine will make the tackle on the return. This game could still go either way, and that's what makes this drive critical. They would love to put some points on the board here. It's first and ten. Oh, great block. As they flag down, let's find out what it's for. Personal foul, clipping. Number 57 draws the flag for clipping. You know, and Jake, refs rarely pass up a chance to call those. The Buckeyes will have the first down off the penalty. Number 57 gets set after committing the penalty. Number 93 stops that play before it got started and forces a loss of a couple of yards. Gotta like the penetration by the D-line. Boy, they stopped that first down from going anywhere but backwards. Ball at the 32-yard line. Number 16, throw shotgun, throw. Number 10 takes him down after a medium game. They threw that one over the middle from the gun and completed for a handful. Boy, not enough for the first, however, and we'll be seeing third down right here. It's third and about seven. Number 16 will pass again. Stays in the pocket. Throws a game of 10. Ball on the 48. Number 12 lines up wide right. Loss of two. Boy, the D played that one perfectly. They plugged up the middle and sealed the runner off before he could even get to the line of scrimmage. Excellent play. It's now second and 12. The Buckeyes go with a split backfield. Number 16. It'll be third and long. Number 12 was open over the middle. No excuses for not getting a completion there. It's now third and 12. The Buckeyes line up with two tight ends. He's pressured through the road. He's tackled, but he's past the six for the first down. Big third and long conversion. Ball at the 41-yard line. Number 80 will sit this play out. Number 21 hammers him after a couple of yards. Got a few yards there off the first down carry. Well, it's not a lot, but it's tremendously important to get positive yards on first down. The Buckeyes line up with their tight end run. Number 30 with the ball again. Number 54 makes the tackle. That's number two on the day. Carry this one away right. And he gets a few. It's third and five. Number 16, takes back, throws. Nice conversion on third down. He got the first and then some. The Buckeyes have a first down. It's their fourth of this drive, and they keep pounding away. Number four is to the left. Number 16 will put it in the air again. Across his middle, they made the tackle, but he was able to get his third reception of the game. Ball on the 10. Number 12 lines up left. Number 16 from the gun. Oh, the pass is incomplete. Number 12 was way in front of that catch, Jake. No way he could have gotten to it. As a quarterback, you can't expect a receiver to reverse course that quickly to rescue your wayward passes. Second and 10. Number 16 will throw once again. Number 16 rolls out. That will fall incomplete, and that's their second in a row. Number 16 obviously thought he could finesse his pass past the two defenders, but it was incomplete. Third and 10. The Buckeyes line up in the eye. He laterals. That'll bring up fourth down. The defense gave up a few there, but more importantly, they stopped them on third down, and that's always a moral victory for the defense. It's the end of the third quarter, and it's still 0-0. Number 85 lines up for the field goal and can put his team in the lead here in the fourth. kick 
He missed it wide left. Oh, you can't make them all, but boy, you'll want to make those little takers. No question. He was close enough to bounce it off his head soccer style and put it between the upright. It's first and ten. Nice block. Number 34 with the ball. Ball at the 30-yard line. He's pressured. Number eight goes outside. Number six makes that tackle. Hits four. Ball on the 30. Number eight. He's pressured. Close middle. Number one was the intended receiver. Incomplete. Number two positioned himself perfectly to act as a human fence between the quarterback and the receiver and cause the incompletion. Very impressive. Third and ten. The Eagles are going with three wide receivers. It'll be fourth and a long way to go. Number 28 takes position for his first punt of the game. Gets off a good one. Number four makes the catch. Number 10 comes in and makes the tackle on the return. First and 10. The Buckeyes. Throws, a flag is thrown on the play. Let's see what it is. First the Eagles worked hard well for that foul. stop, only to have it negated by a penalty. Man, that's got to hurt. The Buckeyes get a free first down from the defensive penalty. Number 10 gets set after committing the penalty. Number 30, number 11 makes the tackle just past the line for a very short game. Nice play. Took this one off his right guard, but there wasn't much room past the line of scrimmage on that one. It's second and nine. Number 10 laid into him and stopped that play dead in the backfield. Nice job. Boy, oh boy, the D stuffed that run up the middle where there was no way the ball was getting out of the backfield. It's third and 11. The Buckeyes are going with their tight end right. Spirals it middle. We have a penalty marker on the play. Let's get the call from the field. First the game. Eagles have really got to watch those. They had a perfect stop wiped out by a silly penalty. The Buckeyes will have the first down off the penalty. Number 35 gets set after committing the penalty. Number 16 from shotgun. Number 16 rolls out. Throws a game of 22. Outstanding protection for this quarterback today. He's had plenty of time to sit back and pick and choose his targets at will. He's pressured. Number 16 rolls outside. Rose incomplete. Number 16 threw the ball out of bounds there, but why, I don't know. He wasn't being pressured at all. It's like he had somewhere else to be, so he just chucked it out of bounds to get it over with. 44 seconds on the game clock. Number 20 with the carry. It'll be third down. It's third and goal. He's pressured. Throws middle. The pass falls incomplete. Number 10 managed to cut off the line from the QB to the receiver by putting his body in the path. That was crafty pass defense. There's no way the ball was getting to the receiver. Number 85 lines up for the field goal and can put his team in the lead here in the fourth. It's up. And the kick is good. He's automatic from that range and puts three on the board. Ohio State puts up the first points of the game. They lead 3-0. Number 85 sets up and will kick it away. It's off. Number one catches it deep. Number one makes the tackle on the return. Thirteen seconds left. 
show you how we play. The Eagles go with one man back. He's pressured. Throw. Tip. Incomplete. Number 81 swung around to the outside, but unfortunately, the pass was outside his hands. Ball at the 34-yard line. Number eight will pass again. He's pressured. Spirals in middle. A game of 30. The Eagles, after the big pass last play, will have a first down. The clock has gone to zero, and this game is in the books. Ohio State wins in a tight one, 3-0. For myself and the venerable Jim Peppers, we thank you for spending some time with us for the best in college football action. Until next time, so long and take care.